One of the seminal events in the Western Grid occurred 20 years ago. Back in 1996, it was a really hot day. There was a lot of power being shipped down to Southern California from the Northwest. Because of a large amount of power flow, several lines were tripped and these inter-area oscillations became undamped. Instead of those oscillations damping back to steady state, they started to grow and got bigger. So generators had to trip off, which guaranteed that there was gonna be a tremendous shortage of power. So that means you have blackouts. Power was out for about eight million people. This cost utilities billions of dollars and society billions more. It resulted in lots of um, new uh, remedial action schemes being implemented by the utilities. What they did was they actually decreased their capacity of their transmission lines to help prevent this from happening because they're worried about these stability problems and possible blackouts. The idea has been to have an active control scheme that can damp these oscillations and do so continuously and provide enough damping so that higher power transfers are possible without causing the uh, situation that occurred in 1996. We've developed a wide area damping controller. What this does is it helps dampen inner area oscillations. Basically it buys time to prevent an outage from occurring and in, in the best case it makes even uh, any operator action unnecessary. What it does is it it takes the frequency difference between the northwest and the southwest, and by taking the frequency difference, then we change the power flow on a DC transmission line and help dampen those oscillations. It wasn't possible in 1996 because the information needed for such a control scheme to work was not available. One of the biggest game changers that has occurred in the last 20 years are these devices known as synchrophasers. Phaser measurement units are uh, measuring devices that are dispersed out throughout the grid. These different uh, locations of synchrophasers has allowed the control system that we have now to understand what is happening at multiple points in the grid, hundreds of miles apart. And since they're GPS time stamped, we can take those in real time control. If we can do that, and we have already shown that we can, then we can actually improve damping. Not only are they we improving the stability of the grid, they can now ship more power down to Southern California because they can raise their capacity of their transmission lines because they have improved damping from our damping controller. Great, thank you. What we learned is that our control system worked. That was the number one thing. We were able to show that we could improve damping um, during large-scale events. It's very exciting. Uh, the theory works. <laughs> um, we found that our simulations were actually very close to what we were getting in the tests. We're hoping to do more aggressive testing, but if all those tests come out good, then I think it kind of starts going from a research project to an engineering project. The testing that we're doing, coming to conclusion here with this research, I think is just the start of the next phase, which is deployment of more wide area control. Montana Tech and Bonneville Power, the power systems expertise that we needed was able to be merged with our control system expertise and the result was a very powerful control system. A lot of times your R&D efforts don't make it to the prototype and actual demonstration phase, so this was pretty exciting that we were able to come this far.